Hello and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you how to repair the bezel or clean underneath the bezel of this Samsung Galaxy watch. This is the Gear 3 but it should work on them all, you know it does work on them all. With my one you can hear that there's something underneath, like I'm swimming a lot in the sea so it's probably sand or salt. But before I've had it where this watch strap I couldn't move by my hand. So let's get started, there's a few things that you're going to need. So I'll go through it once we turn this off. Mm. You're going to need some rubbing alcohol. This is 70%, this is a 70% solution according to the bottle, but any rubbing alcohol should do. You're going to need a few cotton buds, or cotton stick things, that's what they are. You can either use a pick to take off the, your bezel, or if you're very careful, a Phillips head screwdriver. If that focuses, you can see that this is a very small Phillips head screwdriver. There we go. So, once it's off, we're going to hold it in our hands, and we're going to take off one strap, and then we're going to go and take off two straps. And then we're going to put this back down. Just very carefully put your Phillips head screwdriver or your guitar picks round until you can pop it off. Again, using your Phillips head screwdriver, or if you've got some guitar picks, they're probably softer, so using them. If you're someone who's repaired a phone, you'll probably have some other picks, like the ones that come with an iFixit kit. They are recommended. And then you should see that this pops off. You may end up having to use a Phillips head screwdriver just to get it off at the end. Then you're going to find a very small plastic ring. I'm not sure if you can see this, so let's zoom in. There we go. You may find a very small plastic ring here. I haven't mentioned it already, you are going to need a set of tweezers. And it might look like it's broken. It's not broken, it does come with that cut in the middle. Just be careful, put it to the side where you know you will not lose it. Then you should see four ball bearings. Be ca very careful around them. I've got a set of tweezers so I know where they are if one rule rolls out. But if you have a small pot, I recommend doing it in that. Then with the uh, cotton bud, you're just going to get your solution and you're just going to put it there. Just put some on it. And then very carefully just go around the sides, being gentle to clean it. Make sure you go all round the ball bearings. They come out, you can just put them in. Be careful because when the ball bearings come out, the spring below the ball bearings comes out as well. So there we go, we're just going to do this. It may take a few minutes, depending on how dirty your watch is. If you haven't done this before, you can see it's already turning a bit grey. If you haven't done this ever, it might look worse than normal. I do this every three weeks or so. But, yeah, no, I started it three weeks ago, I gave it a clean, but before that I've had this watch for two years, maybe? Maybe a tad bit longer, and I hadn't cleaned it from then, so it was terrible under here and all of this silver was black. So just, there we go. If it looks like your cotton bud's getting too dirty, just go to the other side or get a different one. So if you've got some cotton buds for this, you will probably have quite a few. And then... When you think this finally looks clean, get this part next of your plastic ring. And then, again, just go around here, making sure it's nice and clean. I actually did this on a bit of paper because my desk is really dirty and I didn't think I'd be able to see it. There we go. And then the other thing you can do is with your bear it bezel take clean. All of these bumps be careful around. So that's what gives it the click. Again, just go around afterwards, giving this a clean. I've already done this part. So there we go. Got our clean bits. I'm just going to quickly go over with a dry cotton bud. bud dry cotton bud. To make sure that there is no more rubbing alcohol around here. And just to make sure it is fully clean and dry. There we go. I'm going to put that here, we're going to quickly just reassemble it, or well, not quickly, just carefully. You're going to first get this, 
And you're going to make sure you've got your bumps here facing up. And then on the inside, you're going to put your this small plastic ring. Just make sure, just do this very carefully. This might not be perfectly in focus on the camera, and if that's if so, it's because I'm looking to make sure that I've done that right. When you finally believe you've done that right, you can then put that on top. And as you can see there, I haven't tucked it in so it's sticking out. And it has fallen out. There you go, you can see it popped on nicely. Now why we're here quickly, before we put the straps back on, You'll probably, if you have to watch this tutorial, haven't cleaned your watch in ages. So just go along with your cotton bud, just cleaning out all of these corners. Give the speaker grills here a nice clean. Because you haven't spoke clean this, because if it's got this bad ever before. So just give everywhere a clean. Just go over the buttons, just... Maybe if you have a screen cloth, clean the screen. And then when you're happy with it, and you time to put the straps on, you may struggle with this. So it's really easy to do. You get your watch in your palm of your hand. I'm going to zoom out here. In your palm of your hand, you're then going to get so it's holding it like this. So you hold it like that. With your thumb there. I'm handed the other way, so there. You just slot the first part in. Then you pull back down that lever and let it click. Then you wriggle it about. Strap one on. You can then first strap in, put this part over the top, press down the button, push it into place, make, try that again quickly, and now just wriggle it about until it clicks, and there we go. Now, to prove it's all still working, we can turn this on quickly. And then you can already feel that that's nice and clicky and not stiff anymore. My watch is fairly old so it does take a second to boot up. There we go, and as you can see in a second the better works again. So that's great. Happy that's working. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I will hopefully see you in the next one where I do more Blender programming and hopefully more device repairs. See you. Goodbye. Bye.